it's me Rakia and I am back with another adventure vlog well this is my first adventure vlog so I'm really excited I'm with um, Maya and Janet they're in front of me and we are in Leadville and we're gonna be here for the weekend because we're going dog sledding so I'm really excited I'm gonna take you guys along in this small town um, it's really beautiful the views are nice and um, yeah so let's get started and let's get into it Shanti scarf. <laughs> Because everybody thinks I'm five anyway, so I need all the frown lines. <laughs> no more crying. I look like a like I'm in New York. Pink one since I got pink all over myself. <laughs> Jenny was like, oh, the pink. She's like, oh, let me see. Let me try the pink one because I'm matching. I just like trying to Matching snowsuits. They're giving good vibes. <laughs> Hey guys, it is VoiceOver Kid here, and I quickly wanted to talk about the Silver, Silver Dollar Saloon in Leadville. It is one of the actually fourth oldest saloons in the state of Colorado, so it has a lot of history, a lot of interesting Western backstories. So definitely check this place out. It's such a historical landmark. Running here with Moon. 
Uh, so the leaders are in charge of doing all the steering out there. So they tend to be your smarter dogs that uh, don't get distracted as easily out there on trail. Like to stay focused. Yeah. yeah. Cow girl is pretty sweet. Uh, she's uh, <laughs> probably my best leader. And uh, she's partially blind, so she's uh, pretty smart. Guys, we are out here in the street <laughs> and we had to figure out who's gonna drive the snow sled and I'm like we're like Y'all I, <laughs> I failed my driver's test two times. Like I don't think this is great. So Bruh, I'm <laughs> filming. That's my job. So Janet made that clear. So I'm like well, we can head down to the snow field and get comfortable. Perfect. So T B D So we got Rakia driving. Well, I could do the peace sign. Yeah. <laughs> so we'll see how it goes. I'm so excited. My best life. <laughs> <laughs> back for my trip i was gone for about uh two and a half ish days um i just came back yesterday but i wanted to talk to you guys about kind of conclude this video talk about my experiences what i recommend would i do it again um things like i would bring to do dog sledding and you know the tea so let's get into that real quick so overall leadville is a very nice mountain town they have a couple restaurants and um a lot of gift shops and antiques there's a lot of history there so that's really cool and um it's not too far from the city it's about like a two hour and like 20 minute drive it's a beautiful drive but oh my god <laughs> when it snows you really gotta know how to drive out there so definitely take your time and be careful but overall like we went during a perfect time um, as far as like we kind of caught more snow when we came back but overall like the weather it was a little chilly but it was still fun like it wasn't like unbearable where we're just like oh my god like we're tired of being cold type of thing but anyway i quickly wanted to um talk about the dog sledding you know the you know the kind of the meat of the video so dog sledding was really fun 
um our appointment was at 9 15 they made you sign a waiver and um yeah you just get started i did not know that we were gonna be like you could drive the actual dog sled i thought i was just gonna be riding you know what i mean i was like i'm gonna ride but i didn't know i was actually gonna be driving it so that was really fun um it was me my Ann, and janet so that was one group well one like yeah one group and then there was another group of feet three um it was a family from miami so they just kind of put us together so six people total and um as the second group that's when we actually um took turns driving me and janet but it was really fun i highly recommend it it wasn't too complicated with driving i mean obviously because if it was i wouldn't be doing it um with the sled but it was so much fun um the dogs are just so sweet and they just they love what they do like them dogs like they love it and it's really awesome um a ticket is 160 dollars um for the ticket but i think we rode about like five miles but five miles is enough because by the time like the cold and the snow you're kind of after five miles you're kind of ready to be like okay and we were gone for about like an hour and a half we didn't really get to sit in our to be done and sit in the car till like 10 30. so overall like it was a really wealth worth going trip it is something that i think i would do probably every like three to five years i don't think i would do it every year um if i would do it every year i would choose like different locations um just so i could kind of get a different idea different views but overall like i would definitely recommend marking this off your bucket list if you're a person that loves like outdoor activities if you're a person that really likes um yeah like outdoor activities if you like winter sports or winter like activities um if you love dogs like <laughs> those are things and they're so sweet and it was just really fun our instructor was really great and yeah it's a uh, they're and the thing is like they're small business but they are you got a rsvp like um i was overhearing um somebody was trying to make a um a group of 10 for like the next day and the guy's like yeah no <laughs> we don't you know they like they don't have the they were booked basically so if you are gonna use um the same i think it was alpine adventure um dog sledding um i'll link their um if you're interested i'll link their uh website in the description box below but um yeah like you want to make sure you rsvp but overall it's really good it's a great thing that you could do as a small per like if you want to go individually you can if you want to do like a big group you can so it's good for all ages um like i said there was a family and like the little kid he had to be like four maybe five so you know it's great so overall highly recommend 10 out of 10 but i quickly wanted to show you guys like what um to bring like what i wore i was pretty warm i think my hands were a little bit cold but overall i was pretty warm i was chilling but um just getting feedback from um janet and maya and my two best friends um i'm gonna kind of show you like what i wore and like kind of include their recommendations and their opinions as well so i guess i'll start with the bigger things so the first thing i have is this fleece jacket and I love Patagonia, like, Maya's always like, Patagucci, Rikia, Patagucci, because I love Patagonia, so Patagonia, sponsor me, okay, <laughs> Patagonia, sponsor me, but anyway, this is a um, Patagonia fleece, and it's really, um, it's really nice, it's really warm, and it's very breathable as well, and it's really light, so it's pretty basic, and yeah, so I wore this Patagonia fleece, um as my jacket but underneath i had a turtleneck so i had a turtleneck sweater then i had this fleece so pretty simple then i had my patagonia coat and this is kind of a more puffier this isn't like the thinnest coat i have it's like um probably the a medium size and yeah i had this um jacket right here and it did the job it was good i was warm like i had no problem my i was warm from basically like, my hands were a little cold but that was because i was filming too so i had to keep that in mind but anyway that was good so that was kind of my jacket um and then let me get to shoes so i wore like i would recommend wearing some type of snow boots because you want something that's going to get have some grip because you are going to be outside and it can be icy so i just have these um sorrel um boots but they don't have to be sorrels they could just be any type of good quality um snow boots and as for the jacket too you notice it's not too long like you want something that's kind of at least like around your waist because if you are riding you want to be able to bend down and get into like the actual sleigh just a heads up 
then I got the actual other goodies in my in my other friend's Walmart bag. I know a couple of Maya, so my other friend Maya, um, she let me borrow like most of the gear um from um like she let me borrow her ski pants and her goggles which i'll show you guys real quick but this is her bag so <laughs> there's that but um i want to talk about like my pants so basically like i was like i said i was worn pretty much everywhere except for my hands but i wore these like long thick like stockings and this was my first layer of pant clothing then I wore like sweats like normal sweats and I put sweats on top and then I put my ski pants so that's kind of how I was um let me show you guys my ski pants real quick they're like deep down in here you guys I'm trying to I shouldn't be in this order but it's fine okay so these are the ski pants that I'm talking about right here simple so like I said, I had my stockings, I had um, my sweats, and I had my ski pants. Then um, you also want to wear some, I'm trying to choose what I want to do, um, some really good quality thick socks. These ones are like special kind of socks because they have like some type of thermal, like they're, I don't know, they have some type of thermal protection or something in them. I got them at um costco um like when it's really cold they have like you know those types of like big fuzzy socks so definitely have some good socks you also want to have a good hat so you know make sure you cover up that either have like you should probably have a hat and then you know you have your hood as well so that's important you also want to have a good fuzzy scarf so this is a scarf i wore pretty self-explanatory then you want to have some really good quality gloves. Um, you want some that are waterproof, so you want some good gloves. Um, and these are the ones that Maya uh, let me borrowed, um, Maya G, and these are some nice goggles. Um, I would recommend, by hearing what my friend said, like I think they would rather have goggles than sunglasses because they really protect like your peripheral and they kind of keep your face warm <laughs> a little bit. So um, I recommend goggles. Like I said, that's kind of how they look like. Okay. And then, um, this is optional. I did not use warmers, but these are um, warmers that you can. My dad gave me these. Um, he had some left over, but yeah, you can use these. Um, these are some foot warmers that you can. I know um, Maya and, and Janet were saying how, like, they're... Um, they were saying how like their feet were, were cold and they like recommend like putting two layers of socks if you want to if not then you want to probably get some like insole warmers so yeah you want to get some insole warmers so but yeah you guys that is um what i would recommend for the trip I, like i said i had such a great time and if you have any questions about anything definitely um put it um put <laughs> definitely comment in the description box below but thank you so much for so stuff uh, Oh my god, I can't talk. <laughs> Thank you so much for supporting me and watching this adventure vlog. And until next time, you know, as the girl is on YouTube is saying, make sure you share, comment, like, and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye!